This is a SnapEd New York video presentation. Hi, everybody. I'm Wanda Collins, your SnapEd nutritionist. And today, we're going to learn about... Go Foods! Slow Foods! Whoa Foods! By the end of this video, you will know the difference between Go, Slow, and Whoa Foods and how to use them in a meal. Go, slow, and whoa well foods start with my plate. This plate represents the most common way we group foods. Remember, grouping is just putting like things together. Today, we are going to group foods together in a way that you might not have thought of before. Think about a stoplight. The green light means go. The yellow light means slow down. The red light means stop. This is the same for go, slow, whoa well foods. Go means these are the healthiest foods. Go ahead and eat them. Slow means slow down a little. These aren't the best foods, but they're not the worst. Woe means stop and think about what you're doing. These foods are not healthy for your body. Do not eat them often. You might want to grab a piece of paper and jot down some notes. You're going to need them in a little while. Before we can talk about go, slow, whoa foods, we have to understand the criteria for separating the food groups into go, slow, whoa groups. Each food group will be separated by how much solid fat, like butter or lard, also known as unhealthy fats, and these contribute to heart disease, how much salt, which contains sodium and can lead to high blood pressure, and how much added sugar, which just adds added calories, changes our mood and behavior, and causes cavities. Go foods are the lowest in solid fat, salt, and added sugars. For the vegetable group, that means whole vegetables and low sodium, 100% vegetable juice. Go foods in the fruit group include whole fruits, dried fruits with no added sugar, and canned fruits in 100% juice or water. Go foods in the grain group include whole grain pastas, breads, and cereals. Making half your grains whole grain is really important. Dairy go foods include fortified soy milk and low-fat dairy. Low-fat dairy includes low-fat yogurt and low-fat cheese. Protein group Go Foods include lean beef and pork, fish, chicken with no skin, unsalted nuts and seeds, dried beans with no salt or fat added. Preparing these foods should be done by baking, broiling, or grilling to limit extra fat. Pause the video and jot down some notes. Take a stretch break. Glad you're back. Now it's time for the slow foods. Slow foods have some solid fats, salt, and added sugar, but are still okay. They were processed more than go foods, but not as much as whoa foods. Slow foods in the vegetable group include vegetables cooked in vegetable oil and 100% vegetable juice. Slow foods in the fruit group include Fruit canned in light syrup, 100% fruit juice, dried fruit with sugar added. Have you noticed some differences between the go and slow foods? It'd be good to jot those differences down. Grain group slow foods include all the processed grains, things like white bread and white pasta, and low sugar cereal. Compared to the go group whole grains, these are processed more and have lost some of their health benefits. Slow foods in the dairy group include fortified almond milk and rice milk, and these are slow because they don't have as much protein as regular milk. Whole milk dairy products are slow because they have more fat content. You might want to jot that down. Now we're at the protein group slow foods. These foods include low-sodium processed meats, 
beans with fat and salt added, chicken with the skin on, and breaded baked fish. These protein foods need to be baked, broiled, or grilled for the best health benefits. Pause the video and check your notes. Whoa Foods are up next! Just as I promised, we're at the Woe Foods. These have a lot of solid fat, salt, and sugar and should be only eaten once or twice a month. These foods are the most processed, therefore they are the most unhealthy. In the vegetable group, that includes vegetables with cheese sauce, any fried vegetable with or without breading, and any vegetable with solid fat. Fruit group Woe Foods are no better. They include fruit canned in heavy syrup, fruit leathers, gummy fruits, sherbet, frozen fruit juice pops. Did you hear all that added sugar? Yikes! The grain group woe foods are so sad. They include fried rice, sweetened breads, chips, cookies, sweetened cereals, and sweetened popcorn. That deserves a double yikes. Yikes! Yikes! We can't leave the dairy group out. Wool foods in the dairy group include flavored milk, processed cheese, cream cheese, ice cream, and milkshakes. I'm triple yiking this one. Yikes, yikes, yikes! The protein group Wool foods include hot dogs, candied nuts, bacon, and anything made with solid fat or fried. All the woe foods contain the heart attack trio, solid fats, salt, and added sugar. Time to pause the video, check your notes, because um, we're about to put what we just learned into practice. That's right! It's what you've been waiting for. It's the Name That Food game. You get to decide which food is a go food, a slow food, or a woe food. First up is the vegetable group. Which vegetable is the go vegetable, the slow vegetable, or the woe vegetable? Jot down your answers and let's see how well you did. You can pause the video if you need more time. You got it! Any fried food is going to be a woe food. Fried vegetables are no different. Fresh veggies are always a go food. Eat those anytime you want. Vegetables cooked in vegetable oil are a slow food. Get ready for the next one! That's right people, it's what you've been waiting for. The Grain Brain Teaser. White rice, sweetened cereal, whole wheat bread. Write down which one you think is the go food, the slow food, or the woe food. Pause the video if you want more time. I knew you could do it. White rice is a slow food since it is more processed than brown rice. Brown rice is the healthier option. Sweetened cereal is a woe food since it has added sugar. A healthier option would be a cereal without added sugar. Whole grain bread is a go food since it's made with whole wheat flour and half your grains should be whole grains. We have one more to go. Here we are at the protein group. Lentils, breaded baked fish, and chicken nuggets. Which is the go food, the slow food, or the woe food? You can pause the video if you'd like a little more time. You're perfect! Great job! Lentils are a go food because they have no solid fat, salt, or added sugar. They can be added to all sorts of foods like soups and casseroles for a healthy lean protein. Not to mention they are inexpensive. Breaded baked fish is slow because of the breading. If there was no breading and it was just baked fish, it would change to a go food. Chicken nuggets, whether baked or fried, have a lot of added fat and salt. They are always a woe food and should be only eaten once or twice a month. We just talked about go, slow, and woe foods. Now let's see how they look in a meal. Woohoo! Another game! Let's play a game where you get to decide which is a healthier meal. 
Just remember, the more woe foods, the less healthy the meal is. The more go foods, the healthier the meal is. Is it a go meal, slow meal, or woe meal? You get to decide. First up is breakfast, which is the go, slow, or woe breakfast. We have three choices, 100% orange juice, baked hash brown or boiled eggs, or fried eggs, fried potatoes, or whole grain cereal, 1% milk, or fresh fruits. Pause the video and write down your answer. Fantastic! The first picture is a slow meal. It has 100% juice and baked hash browns. That makes it slow. The second picture is a woe plate because everything is fried. The last picture is a go plate because it has the least amount of solid fat, salt, and sugar, along with whole grains. That's the meal we should be eating most of the time. Let's do one with dinner now. Here we have three dinner choices, pizza and wings, or grilled skinless chicken, vegetables, fruit salad, and whole grain roll, or refried bean taco with baked shell, cheddar cheese, and a garden salad with regular dressing. Which meal is the go meal, slow meal, or woe meal? Pause the video and write down your answers. Great job! The pizza and wings plate is full of solid fats and salt. It should be kept to a once or twice a month treat. You can change it up by substituting a salad with low-fat dressing for the wings. Still, keep it to one slice of pizza. The middle meal is the best. All those components are go foods. This is the meal that will keep you going and going and going with lots of healthy energy. The last meal is definitely slow. It could be made better by turning it into a taco salad with baked chips, regular black or kidney beans, and a low-fat dressing. Now you're the Go Slow Woe expert. Be your body superhero and pick up your My Plate shield. Then have Go and Slow Foods most of the time. Have Woe Foods only once in a while. Thank you for joining us today. We know the healthy choice isn't always the easiest choice, but small changes can make a big difference. Start today by getting involved with Snap Ed New York. This program is free for those who qualify or receive SNAP benefits. We want to help you save time, save money, and eat healthy. Learn how SNAP Ed can make a difference in your life. For more information and to find your local program, visit snapedny.org. This material is funded by USDA's Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. SNAP, this institution is an equal opportunity provider.